Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Fox Adventures episode 26. I am Noxious Bulgar, and joining me for this lovely episode here, in which right now we have to return, return. That's, that's a new word I invented, it combines Krizoa and return. So we're, we're returning to the palace. Uh, what palace you might ask? Krizoa Palace, of course. Just gonna use our friend here, the warp, warp stone. Are you ready to go? Yeah. To yes, I am. Send us away. Help us with your magical gaze that warps people with your open palm, and, and then we split into how many foxes is there? Four. Split into four foxes and fly through space. Who knows where we're going? It'd be much cooler if you could jump in our way and fly to Grizzle Palace. Although, then it wouldn't be secret. The area wouldn't be secret. You wouldn't know where it is. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so, we're here doing what we do. This is just, I don't know, a bit tedious, but it's part of the game, so. Need to head this way for the new one, and go ahead and get the new spell thing here we have open, ready. So we have this magical door up here that's going to take forever, because of course I have to put it on the furthest spot away. Here we are. Alright. This door is so weird. So weird. And now creepy time. Fox. Look at him. Every time. Now he's gonna do the. You, you know what he is. The, huh? Because for some reason, we've returned multiple Krizoa spirits now. And the same thing happens every time, and he's still surprised every time. I don't. I don't get it. But whatever. I guess it. It works. Here, ready. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we have to celebrate first. Come on. Oh. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Every time. Well, geez, and now we get to warp back. That was fast. We didn't even spend much time in there at all. Oh well, I guess that uh, that works out because we have other stuff to do. We still have another spell stone and. Fox, my boy. Oh, oh and Three see. spell stones down and only one to go. You seem to be getting the hang of this. Now then, it's time for you and Tricky to go to Dragon Rock. Your toughest <laughs> I love this challenge music. yet. That's easy for you to say, but where do I find the gatekeeper? Yeah, that's the most important question. He is closer than you realize. Okay, okay. He who has no voice has plenty to say. What's with the riddles? Why can't you just say, hey, go talk to Bob? <laughs> Bob's the gatekeeper. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, I would assume by the handing of the camera there that it meant the gatekeeper is somewhere out here, and no one out here but the dinosaurs that we've been running by the entire game. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some magic real quick if you're wondering. Oh, what the? I didn't think about it. There we go, now we're full. So we talk to this guy. I should have guessed there was something odd about you. The Warpstone said I should find you. Oh, I haven't spoken since <laughs> his voice kills me. Happened. Yeah. Something that I am ashamed to admit. It makes me think I of uh, the Monty Python skit or something. Just the way it sounds and it talks and everything. Tell me, what happened? I led a group of dinosaurs against General Scales. He learned of our plan before we could act and launched a full-scale offensive against us. We never stood a chance. He imprisoned three of my closest friends on Dragon Rock, and it is also where he has taken the spell stone. I wonder if... So how did you survive? If he had to have led a go, assault on it could only be because prior to the scale stealing the spell the stones. Keeper. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm wondering how he did. What the? These dinosaurs could shoot magical blue beams out of their mouths. What is going on? Oh, I 
see. The gateway oh, to Dragon geez. Rock is now I thought he was the gatekeeper, not Please all of them. What? Help my friends. They are I guess he's the leader side. and the queen just doesn't know because I think the queen would probably throw a fit if she knew that someone of such importance was hiding in her midst. Well, we have to go to Dragon Rock, so we better get going. Jump up in our handy dandy R Wing here. Tricky, you could just stay on the planet. I I don't really need you to come lose. Alright, and now we progress on to the hardest level, R Wing level thing. I might have to cut here, I'm just saying. Because, well, after we see what Slippy says, but. I might have to cut. Because we have to get 10 rings, and that means every ring. I might miss one. Oh, goodness. Alright, here we go. New level, finally, 10 gold rings. That means we have to get every single one of them. This could turn out terrible, it could turn out fantastic. Uh, I'm, for the record, not going to focus much on score. I just want to mainly focus on getting all the rings because it's kind of a pain in the butt, I think. But then again, I've never, I'm not like a pro Star Fox, uh, whatever you call it, need to uh, shooter. So, I guess, I mean, I, I've played obviously, but I just want to make sure that the ring is one of these. Let's do that one. Um, oh, poor Mr. Clown. Alright, oh. Only miss. Holy crap, I almost missed it. I'm not even gonna go for the silver one, because I don't trust that. Alright, come on. This is the one that I always miss. It's very deceptive. There we go. Alright, I think we beat this on first try. I will take it. As long as you don't miss. Meh. Yeah! Holy crap, I'm so happy. <laughs> I didn't think I'd make it. I think I failed that maybe four or five times the other night. Just because I got that one that I was talking about. Because it moves left to right, and then it moves... Well, I mean, it, you would think it'd go a little bit further than it does, so when you fly by it, you actually... Well, I mean, you fly by it, you don't actually fly through it, because it'll stop just a tad early. And you have to be pretty dead on with those. So, we're on Dragon Rock, and... Uh, whoa, what the heck's going on here? Floating turrets and... Holy crap. Floating turrets with shields and rock dinosaur things. And I see a ladder. And I'm just gonna climb up. Because I figured we'd probably have to. And toasted box, yep. Yeah. Don't even care though. We have so much HP right now that I'm not really worried about it. And it takes us three years to climb ladders, so I mean, why waste time? So there's a crane thing over there, and uh, there is, let's see what's over here, oh, switch, that will do what, oh it turns on the crane, that's right, alright, so now we just have to run further this way, continue wasting time, filling space, oh, ooh, that was close, alright, so you don't obviously want to touch the flame that comes out to the TNT barrels because that that could that be terrible. And Fox would blow up. You don't you don't want that. Now when you hold down these switches, as you can see, the flame here will stop, which is goes back to what I was just saying, I guess. Obviously, you don't want the flames to touch a TNT barrel because if it does, then you're screwed. And hurry up. Alright. Now it should drop it. And then we can use it to blow up this barricade that was... Well, actually, there's a big hole in the front, so I'm, I'm pretty fairly confident that Fox could have just climbed through it, but Fox doesn't like to do things the easy way, so... Random switch. What do we have here? Oh, snap. We have probably one of my favorite things of this game is... Uh, our best friend out there. I'm just gonna remember. Oh crap! I think he's over. Where is he? Is he 
it did, yeah, it is this, 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 this direction. This direction. I don't know why they imprisoned him so far away. Probably just to make you run and spend more time in the game. And you would never really think that he's all the way over here either. You have done well to find me, but there are others. Yeah, I know. Your Thorntail friend yeah. told me all about it. I am pleased to hear of his safety. For, for being a Triceratops with armor, I would think so he would fortunate. possibly be the leader. We can free Just him. saying. No, I'm not paying the guy in Thorntail Hollow is cool and all, but oh, okay, really, okay. it's not what very intimidating. Do? The high top will be an easy target for the patrolling robots. With their shields, they are unstoppable. However, each one has a shield generator hidden somewhere nearby. If we can destroy these, the robots will be defenseless. So what do you expect me to use? This? Of course not. This. Oh, now yeah. Get on my back. Oh, Let's man. Do some damage. This is so much fun. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. Alright, so now you get to ride the Triceratops, and he's freaking awesome. Look at this. Du -du 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 -du. Just run and just bash things with your face. Of course, when you get shot with the plasma beam things, it doesn't really work out that way, but that's okay, because uh, there should be. Is it here? Yes. Aha, there's one generator down. Now the trick is you want to look for a green glowy thing in rocks and stuff. Which let's see. I guess we yeah, there's one right here. See, there's a they're always near these things or the, the like the turrets that have the shields. So you just want to look around in that general area and you'll see they have cracks in the wall with green, like back here. You can see another one. And there should be four, because there are four turrets around. Whoa, those guys shoot flaming fireball things. I did not know that. I normally run up to them with Fox. Try and deal with it. Oh, I see the last one. There it is. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Serpentine patterns. Serpentine patterns. Serpentine patterns. Alright, so we have to run back. And then, sadly, this will be the end. For now, we have to destroy these and all that afterwards. So, on the next episode, we will continue diving further into Dragon Rock, and I guess I'll catch you guys then.